Welcome back to Rasta's Realities, where my reality is your reality, and the reality is you are here with me when you could be any other place in the city. This channel contains truths, entertaining truths. Just because it's entertaining doesn't mean that it ain't true. Everything that I talk about is from experience and all things that I have seen in my professional and my personal life. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if the video speaks to you. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go. Thanks for joining me here on Rasta's Realities. I am Rasta Akil Bomani, and I appreciate you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, as well as commenting your thoughts. You ever travel somewhere, whether inner or outer city, and encounter some fool or fools of any gender trying your patience? Catch yourself. Have a child or children who believes that their thought process is better than yours, even though you've been here and experienced much more? Catch yourself. Employee behaving less than a professional? Catch yourself. Kids, mother or father acting out or not handling business? Catch yourself. Your girl or boyfriend wronging you in some way? Catch yourself. Weather's irritating you? Catch yourself. Some device or machine pissing you off or not operating as it should? Catch yourself. Bills depressing you? Catch yourself. Your favorite television station leaving or downgrading? Catch yourself. A victim of some crime? Catch yourself. Grocer was out of your favorite item with no date of return? Catch yourself. This video is about, you guessed it, catching yourself. What does that mean and why catch yourself? Well, that's an easy one versus actually catching yourself. While all mention can be problematic, there's a bigger problem at hand, and that is lack of self-control. No, I'm not stating to allow nonsense to befuddle you, but be the better you. I'm sure we've all had moments where we, where we did not take that much needed step back during a heated situation and acted on pure emotion and paid more for our actions than necessary. That, ladies and gents, is what catch yourself means. Breathe and step back, decrease your emotion, and increase your logic. I can guarantee that when you use logic versus emotion, you'll always win. Even though it may feel like you lost or are losing, you will rise above the current situation. No, I'm not stating that you, we, live an entire life of turning the other cheek as some people need that big mama ass whooping. See, the term feel is a part of emotion, not logic. We have an influx of folk who only use emotion versus logic. And then when they're in hot water or are killed unnecessarily, we blame the other person or people. And for those who live and find themselves in a bind, they now seek for others to bail them out and take their side. And when you don't, then you're hit with ad hominems among other things that was said. Thus, no accountability was practiced and most assuredly will have a repeat process and never learn from mistakes made. That particular lack of self-accountability is the crux of our problems within our communities. We cannot change the narrative without self-accountability and, hold, and holding others accountable for their actions. I tell you what, in my Hank Hill voice, I tell you what, <laughs> nothing will ever change in this society until we have practiced accountability for you and me to truly be free and have peaceful harmony, especially here in the shy city. Not much more to be said, accountability or suffer until dead. Your voice, your choice. This concludes this evening's talks here on Rasta's Realities. I am Rasta Akil Bomani. Thank you for listening and watching.
comment down below. Like and subscribe. Peace to you.